today's two minutes of science we're going to look at a second grade core science experiment it's called water beats rock we're going to start with three pieces of chalk that have been cut in half and some water and three jars in this case it's a beaker and a plastic container so that we can shake things up I've accelerated the process here so you can see the whole experiment. As a control, we're going to take the chalk and shake it up without any water to see how much uh, erosion occurs. You can see that there's a lot of powdery residue. I guess you could suppose that this is like in a desert where the wind erodes the rocks. There's a lot of powder or sand around from the erosion. Whereas if we do this with the water, and the water stays stationary in the beaker, we can see that over time it doesn't change much unless you have the agitation action like in a riverbed. After a minute of agitation and a little bit of time for it to stand, you can see that the water with the chalk that's been agitated is quite colored and there's a, a lot of residue in it and the chalk itself has been rounded off. There's no sharp edges left. Taking a look at this more closely through the microscope, we can see that the edges on the chalk that's just sitting in water have hardly changed at all, while those who have been agitated are pitted and much of the chalk has been dissolved into the water. So I guess you can say water and motion beats rock. 